Sickness coming around the corner, takes down Nalik as he throws a nade. Spoilty looking for the backside of Sickness, can't find it. Sickness pinned between two. Silent comes around the backside and takes down Spoilty. Silent looking for Scooby now. He does find him, but the nade is right at his feet. Is he going to get away? He does. Uh oh. Is this going to be a cap? Noman's running back towards objective. Zach Fontaine gets the revive. Silent takes down Noman. And the three peats. Uh... It's your man, Poon Anders, your Texas caster and hype master. And I'm not sleepy, but I got a big... Well, never mind. <laughs> it's trip. TP? I don't know. I'm trying to find <laughs> words that rhyme with it, but we will find it out later as uh, Sleepy writes all the rhymes for the show, including a rap that he's working on for the uh, oh. the final uh, theme. You know, that's a slow key, though, so don't mention it to him. He will try to deny it, but he's totally doing <laughs> he, it. He's he does freestyle know, raps on the side. It's absolutely true. Uh, anyway, uh, we, have, we have a lot of content that we have to cover. Well, I mean, a lot of weeks, not so much a lot of content mm -hmm. uh, to cover. Uh, so just jumping right into it, let's talk about a match between the beginners and the divided. Um, this is the divided taking on the EU leader. Uh, divided fairly new, just getting started, but making waves. Uh, let's take a look at these clips. All right. In our first clip, we have a bunch of action just unraveling really quickly as in beginner's fashion, actually. Uh, one minute left on the clock. And <laughs> uh, they're just they're pushing that objective. Project gets one. Smoils gets project. And it's all up to the last man standing game reaper. But he does manage to secure the round right here. One more, nope, maybe. Just kidding. No, wait. There's another one still alive. The <laughs> beginners are all over the place. They have 40 seconds left. Kev rushes the objective now. And he's trying to sneak by on those bushes. There but he Game goes. Reaper finds him, and they take the first, or they take nice. the second point. Yes. Then we go on to the next clip, which is Project and Nolak assaulting the upstairs defenders. However, it's not the upstairs objective. It, it's kind of a confusing clip, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> Nolak gets a little over aggressive, takes down his shield player, but he makes up for it with a round-winning kill. Dang, The Divided really killing it this season. And then in the last clip from The Divided, which is titled, When Life Gives You Lemmings by Team Captain Project 8 VR, it shows The Divided once again trying to take the upstairs defenders out. However, this time, beginners are ready, and the lemmings just run up the stairs to die. Fool me once, man, right? Fool me once. And this clip I personally wanted to include because this clip shows how dangerous Dr. Killinger is. This is a first-person view. And he's looking the other direction. Shots ring out from behind him, and he snaps around and gets that impressive trade. So, a word of warning. That's if amazing. you're going to sneak up on a beginner, make sure you got a kill shot. Or make sure you got a shield in front of you as well. That'd be yeah. great if he whipped around to shoot at you and he sees the shield. He's like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that was an impressive kill. Oh, man. Beginners take the series 12-2. Uh, to two. Uh, In spite of what you saw in those clips, the Divided uh, was only able to take off two points. But it looked... Like in those two points that they really could have uh, done it if they'd have just played that way the entire time. They put up a good fight. <laughs> they did. They did. Uh, speaking of good fights, uh, Mayhem, Mayhem were unsure against uh, their next match going up against uh, a relatively unproven team like Gunning on Empty. Uh, a fair amount of pre-match analysis was carried out, which may have given Mayhem uh, the edge in the end. Uh, the first map was bizarre, according to their feedback, as it uh, seems to be normal for Mayhem. They lost the first round. Uh, the Kayat offense fell over with a couple of missed opportunities in trades. Um, Kayat. Kayat. <laughs> Uh, it's the, the multiple story in the bazaar, just north of the bazaar I've, fountain. I have never heard that one yet. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Uh, Mayhem then regrouped for Kiat defense with a clean round. Uh, no Mayhem deaths. Uh, the rest of the b of bazaar went fairly smoothly. A couple of close rounds on the south objective before dominating a uh, west market offensive by uh, Mayhem to seal the map 4-1. to one. Then they moved on to Downfall, where Gunning on Empty went with yeah. the expected choice of Downfall Daytime for map 2. Uh, Mayhem were holding defense strong until a terrible heli bungalow defense came up and um, caused them to lose key positions in uh, inopportune times, as always happens on Downfall. And Mayhem regrouped with a uh, heli bungalow defense. 
I mean, offense, sorry. Uh, taking it solidly, get back on the advantage offered by that Volk start. Now, that, that was a, that enabled them to go on to win defensive rounds and take the map, uh, which led them to their third map, Subway. Uh, with the series decided, Mayhem wanted to take on Gunning on Empty's second strongest map of Subway, just to see how they'd fare. Uh, Mayhem have never played this map in league play, so they were, they were testing the waters. They started out strong, dominating the lower rail tracks um, on offense and defense. With the offense having some masterful team play, uh, which you have to. I mean, you got to come correct in Subway if you're going to take anything but that style series. Um, Chinatown offense went poorly for Mayhem, but they held it together on defense with another clean defense with all the members alive to take the map. Uh, Mayhem said they had some great fun uh, entering zones as a team on Subway, and uh, overall it was a good game. Made, it, made them closer than, uh, they made them, the whole match, they feel, closer than it should have been due to many errors on uh, Mayhem's behalf. Uh, player of the match was definitely Potato Bot, who got himself back into dominating form after a few weeks off and a, with a 28-kill uh, match. 28. It's the most ever by an individual Mayhem, individual Mayhemmer in a Mayhem match. Mayhemian. We, we determined they're called Mayhemian. Mayhemian. Yes. And so this first clip here, it's going to show how Mayhem, they were talking about their coordinated push. They really like to work as a team, and they come in really strong here, having not really played this map very often. They get a kill right there at the exit and a res. I think that was before the clip started. And they use a very tactical flashlight here. So the member at the end of the tunnel has night vision on, presumably. So they're using this flashlight so that they can't be seen. And you can see how hard it is to see the members as the names toggle on and off. But he does get a call out out. And then the shots ring out from Potato Bot. And just like that, the, the tracks are opened up. And Dude, it's a that's good such play. a sick move. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was impressed. And then we keep going watching these two members push up and you can't hear it but they're talking this whole time it's i mean it's just constant communication good smokes they're just they're talking they're on the radio they're off the radio they're, they're coordinating like a team and even sleepy said he was casting this match that he really appreciated how they play together as a squad it really makes them feel like a unit and so they get a smoke on objective there really nice one james here runs up, gets a couple of... He just pre-fires a couple of corners where he thinks the enemy are. Doesn't find anybody, but he gets set, and then he calls the rest of his team and redirects that smoke. The enemy moves to the other side because shots rang out. James comes around the corner and gets this kill right here, and he gets another one right there. And then he goes down to PTJ's, but Game Reaper is ready and comes around the corner and gets him, I believe. I don't know if this finishes or not. We'll see. Oh, come on. Don't make not. us wait for it. No. <laughs> and then here, after racking up a 3-0 lead on their not favored map, Mayhem make a fatal mistake of not watching the OBJ. PT Jace is able to sneak in and cap right under everyone's nose as we see. That he just runs across the track. That is very Australian running right there. Yes, it is a very Australian running. That is true. But he gets across the tracks, and there's no one on objective. They're all watching angles, but not the objective. <laughs> the next clip. Is brutal. Some precision throwing here as we see a C4 planted on the awning of the north alley, which I believe was intentional. But then James Bullock with a Kobe grenade just launches it, gets two downs, but not kills. Yeah, well, you know, it's just got to get him down for a little bit. If, uh, of course, without a spotter, it's kind of hard to make the decision to rush the downed bodies. You can right. use them as bait. That's how I like to do it. <laughs> mm, true, true. Uh, Mayhem win the series uh, 12 to 7. Uh, really good on Mayhem. You know, uh, doing really well this season, what we end up seeing from them. And those advanced tactics that they're starting to deploy now, I'm really uh, enjoying that. I'm glad that actually the advanced tactics they came up with uh, translate well in Onward and that they work. Uh, I do know that if any of you guys have any advanced tactics that you think should work via the laws of physics, make sure you hit up that downpour team because they do like their milsim stuff. So want to keep it real. Uh, moving on to Animal House versus Blaze. Let's just jump right into these of what was uh, surely a bunch of clips from a stellar match. Yeah, so this was not casted, but these are first person shots from Lipinski. So F. Lipinski. Here he is, last man standing on objective. And, you know, it's the East Kia or East Bazaar objective. So there's a lot of ground to cover, lots of angles. And he throws a, a short little flash here. I think he heard something. I'm not exactly sure. But he pops a little flash, runs around the other side, gets one through the window. 
has to rotate tactical reload has to rotate he's looking for that last guy he's the only guy here he looks smoke he finds someone on north yep there he is north alley takes him down and nicely saves the done round. and uh in this next one this is what i'm gonna call the play of the weeks question Plural. mark <laughs> because uh it was just impressive this is a one-handed no scope on quarantine across from north street to south street which is I hacks. mean, that's just mind-boggling, right? I, I can't hit that's anyone hacks. with a Pro that's 2 impossible. with 12X laying on the ground. Nobody's aim is that good. It was crazy. <laughs> Animal Health take the series 12-6. to 6. Uh, Well done. Um, moving on to Phantoms versus The Divided. Uh, it's another match that we have a couple of clips from, and um, it didn't turn out as, uh, as, what's the word, as even keel as you'd have thought. Yeah, I, I casted this match, and I, I picked it up because I thought that... The Divided were going to do really well, and they let me down. Yeah. Uh, the Divided get a little distracted here as they're being shot at from the south side, as you see, and we pan over to the north, and they're being rushed from the north as well, which causes Nolak to look away from the objective, and Takino Loco channels his inner Stumpy and just runs up onto the cap and ha has no defenders looking at him. I mean, they don't even know he's here. I'm there were take three it. members of the Divided like, still standing. I'm going to take it. Y'all going to let me have it. <laughs> And then MVP of the game, Takito Loco here, gets another cap. I mean, I don't know if they didn't know that you couldn't cap from here or what, but Etch is down here, and then Takito Loco just slips in right under Cap's objective. Uh, maybe that's why they're called the Phantoms? I don't know. Oh, it's an absolutely insane move. I'm surprised that it went that way, but hey, you know, uh, the Divided, I guess, can't win every single one of them. Uh, the Phantoms end up winning the series 13-1. Uh, to uh, let's move on to the All-Stars matches. I believe in the quarterfinals, we had uh, Scrubs versus Arm and Get'em. Uh, let's take a look at some of these clips. All right, myself, Scrubs here. We're starting out very strong with four men on the objective, but Landon comes in, and you didn't really see it, but he shoots me in the back. Uh, <laughs> and so... Your own teammate. Yeah, and then Otto is forced to shoot the remaining defender instead of getting the cap, so we only get one point instead of two. Not a great way to start off the map. But here we have another great push from the Scrubs, a la me. Actually, I think I was already dead at this point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the kill feed just lights up. Urban Ghost gets one. Two old gets Lueller, and then we don't even have it on camera, but they're just in the objective. Landon takes down two old. Bluega takes down, oh yeah, Bluega takes down somebody, and then two old nades self-downs and kills a teammate, giving us the point. A pretty nice way to win a round. And then we start off Cargo, landed throwing an epic chain reaction grenade. He gets it onto the tunnel, it lands just right, falls through the crack, insta-kills one, downs the other, but Shield Man Sri Lankan was holding a prep grenade, and it goes off and downs Hoochie. That's what he gets, man, for uh, coming in too strong. Can't uh, carry a live grenade. It's just not safe. <laughs> Arm and get him win with a uh, nine to six victory over you guys. Wow, wow. Uh, yes, better luck next time. I I do know that there were some very interesting picks for the All Star games. I remember seeing they uh, they put four team captains on one team at one point. Uh, so uh, five. Five team it captains was, on one team. It was team. very All Starry in my opinion. <laughs> So, uh, so real well done, well done. Moving on to the semifinals, though, we have the uh, three peats, or what you guys changed to the repeats, versus calm chaos. Let's get right into it. Yeah, so I think this is the most impressive cap scenario I've seen all season as a caster. The three peats. Uh, I, I don't even know how Nintendo got in here. He comes in from the back of Kiat, and he just sets up in the corner. But Captain Soda knows what he's doing. He rushes in here and stops this cap happening. But he keeps continuing through the back, and as soon as he's off screen, there's two more Marsocks just sitting <laughs> on objective. Like, I don't know where they came from, that oh. they were just lining up to cap. It was That's a crazy. great move, though, because, like, the person's going to rotate out after they kill somebody, and they're just assumed exactly. that there's no one else on the point. Oh, that's too smart. And here we see Sickness. He's just patiently waiting for a headshot on a Captain Soda. I mean, you can see by the lasers, like, he's he's not looking yet, but he has that lined up. He peeks out. He knows out, where he's going to be. <laughs> boom! One shot, headshot. He's down. He just had to feel it. Kind of aggressive with that, uh... Caltrop. That's Caltrop. Yeah, so this one, attacking him we'll as let the audio on talk the for itself. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. No, yeah, I can hear him talking to his dog. <laughs> his, his puppy he is that dog. Like, his, uh, I, he, I haven't seen him protein. in months.
Yeah, his, then he's like, I got His puppy's attacking his pro tip. You watch his pro his gun suddenly shifts to the left. Oh, leave, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Molly, dog, no, my controllers! The dog likes the protube, likes to chew on it. <laughs> All right. And lastly, oh, Sorry, a word to the wise if you're going against Sickness's new team, Fire Team Alpha, uh, which he's still creating, and there are spots available. But if you go against them, definitely choose a close range map as we see Sickness take another headshot on a Captain Soda. Nobody's aim is that good. Whoa! Something just <laughs> fell in my house. It was a light, it looks like. Ah, it was. Yeah, but it's okay. We can still see you. Moving it's on. Right. We're going to do it live. Uh, moving on. Uh, the three Pete's take the series in a close eight to seven. Very close. Um, yeah, uh, really, really close. Uh, doing quite well. Uh, the sickness got his long shot down, as you said. Uh, completely unfair to play against that. He's got like the ultra high res headset now. Uh, moving on to the. Uh, Capitanos? Capitanos. Capitanos versus Arm and Get em. Take a look. Yeah, we started calling Arm and Get em Arm and Hammer because we kind of lost it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Capitanos start off round two with a bang or a lot of bangs. They pre fire all the angles and take down two right off the bat. And then out of nowhere, we switch from the pre fire lanes to the in the house lanes, and Killinger is just running inside, takes down one, gets upstairs. Too old, has been shot, I believe, so he's too slow to get up here and stop the cap, and Killinger gets the cap in, like, 20 seconds and start and gets two points for Capitanos. And then we see on the next map, Nalik defending objective for machine and another. This is probably one of the ballsiest plays I've ever seen. He just runs up to the field, hides behind the containers, tosses a nade out, gets him with the nade, and then he knows that he spent too much time back there, so he has to rush and check all these containers. He's too old. His, his old brain time. apparently just wasn't working fast enough, and he just couldn't type in the code. Holy Sick. crap! That's some uh, that's some multitasking right there. That guy, uh, that guy did uh, plenty of Mountain Dew before he started playing. Uh, Capitanos <laughs> end up winning uh, the match with eleven to six, which leads us to the finals, where the three Pete's Woo! versus the Capitanos. Uh, the three Pete's try to live up to their namesake and take um, take a third All Star series. However, it was uh, not an easy fight, and the three Pete's were returned to their previous status as just repeats. Let's wow. take a look at what we've got. Plenty of clips. So this is a good one. Uh, and Nolik, you know, this entire game was super aggressive. But this one, he takes down, he takes an aggressive position and takes down two with a nade C4 combo. Uh, just 20 seconds into the match, the three beats are already down two members. So not a good start. And then we have a really nice clip here. Scooby Dooby Doo, he sees you. You're gonna catch a bullet. <laughs> Scooby patiently just waits for this headshot on Zach. Gets it! Turns his attention to Nintendo and secures this point. He's just waiting now. Nintendo walks out and there he goes. Takes another point for Capitanos. You know, after saying that with nothing else around your voice, he's going to clip it out and make it his uh, ringtone. He, he might. <laughs> I have a beautiful voice. It's fine. Now, map two here was full of grenades and these may have been gr grenades of the week. Uh... But yeah, here's two in the in one clip. One comes out from I forget the callouts now from the south side, and he he downs Noman. Now these grenades are a little confusing because they're both just downs. They both look like they should have been insta kills, but Killinger throws one back out and refrags literally refrags the guy. And then we go on to map three, and after taking the first two maps, Nalik decides he wants to have some fun, and he starts running around with a pistol. You see him here on the left side of the screen. He runs through the smoke, past the defender or past the offenders, and starts picking them off from behind with the five seven. He gets one, he gets another before he goes down. But I mean, he's putting in work with that pistol. You don't see a whole lot of pistol kills. And then here in the last clip, we just see a ton of action. Doctor Killinger takes down Raf. Silent Knight takes down Killinger. Sickness takes down Nolik, Noman takes down Nintendo, Spoilty takes down Sickness, Silent takes down Spoilty, Silent now looking for whoever that was, Scooby-Doo, and now it's all up to Noman, and Silent is on objective, but he hears Noman coming, Noman takes down, nope, Noman doesn't take down anyone, but Silent takes him down, and it's all over. Yeah, well, that'll teach him, right? Uh, Capitanos win the series 11-7. to as we spoiled for you a little bit earlier, overall, really good all-star all-star series, right? You guys, uh, were they excited about it? I think it, it was a great all-star series. Yeah, 
So are they uh, they ready for the next one? I you know I think the next one needs a little bit more organizing. There were complaints uh, of in the Discord about how this was organized, which is totally Sleepy's fault. Um, he owned up to it because he was at OC6 with us, and yeah. we didn't plan this. So it was all now, up on cause. And in it's all just fairness, not, yeah. I did tell Doc in a while back when OC6 was rolling around, he's like, hey, just, you know, just heads up. Just go ahead and block out that week. <laughs> this was way before anybody knew anything. I was like, dude, bl block well, out that week. Well, so the thing week. was, this wasn't actually set up as an All-Stars until the week of OC6. Mm -hmm. While we were there, the captains voted for it to become an All Stars instead of just a fun week, mm. and then we had to make everything happen. In oh, yeah, that's right! It was supposed to be a fun week. So we were yep. talking about it, and then I was like, "It was the happened? funnest week." What happened to fun week? Uh, well, uh, speaking of fun, Vivian from the Hive has a new interview with Animal House and Edna, who I guess is joining Animal House now, right? No, she actually. I just learned this today. She's my teammate, and I didn't know that she was Animal House. Oh, she started Animal House. Apparently, I never knew this. I didn't know that either. I always thought it was Steven. Well, let's take a look well, at I the... I don't know if she started it, but she was on Animal House. Let's take a look at the uh, a clip from this interview. Like, that's a specific joke. Like, yeah. We're silent by here. Are you going to tell us that you're going to be back? Like, you're just going to take, like, a, a month break, and then you're going to come back and never come back? Are you going to do that? Yeah, you going to fall silent? Are you going to do that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey. Where is silent? Speaking of silent. Silent is on Belay's. Oh, that's no, that I know. Were you, were you, were I you? hope he comes on because I'm 100% talking about his chafing that he had all weekend. <laughs> like 100%. Well, why, do we, why do we need him on to talk about it? Yeah, let's go on. Go ahead. I mean, it's better when he's there to try to defend himself, but Mm, all right. right so yeah if you want to know about silence chafing <laughs> yes absolutely uh be sure to check out the whole interview on the hive we'll have a link for you below uh but before we go let's take a look at the standings which uh didn't budge too much uh as you can see global cam still sitting on top just barely over the beginners because the beginners pulled up that third loss uh snc tactical holding in third vikings holding into fourth but i've heard grumblings that they're just not quite accepting the challenges that uh, other people are wanting to throw at them. Uh, so maybe that's why they're still there. We'll have to find out. Uh, Dangler's holding on to fifth, hoping that challenge goes through against the Vikings. Uh, G-Men and Animal House holding out six and seven. Real good on them. Mayhem still working on getting their way up to the top, but still quite high for them, considering uh, how they started out. Uh, Space Force going on nine. Blaze all the way down to 10. And Silent Purge at 11. So a little bit of shaking up at the bottom end, considering not too much MMR was to be had over the last couple, uh, last few weeks. Yeah, Mayhem definitely cracked that top 10 really nicely in their first season. And Blaze, even though they're down, you know, they've won the last two or three wild cards. So, like, they're still a threat. <laughs> true, true. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Well, that is it for us. Uh, thanks to all our players and viewers for supporting the show. Um, show us some love in the comments and get a conversation going as this, this helps the show rank up and get more exposure to people who don't know about the league. Yeah, and keep those clips coming, folks. Even if your match went uncasted, we showed a couple of first-person streams, so make sure to get them to us. We're always looking for more great highlights. Yeah, it was really good stable platforms this time around for the first-person stream, so I like what they're doing there. Instead of like the shaky stuff where they're like, not even looking at the action. Again, <laughs> I am Poonanders, joined by this time... Um, Trip, who is a VRML caster and soon to be a uh, dad, right? Congratulations. <laughs> That's news to me, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she told me anyway. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, and this show was brought to you by vrespawn.com, your only source for VR esports news. Be sure to subscribe and follow the channel and follow our Twitter to stay up to date. That is correct. Uh, this episode was written by Trip with the help of all of our team captains. Uh, all praise unto you, Trip this time around, who suffered at the keyboard as frantically as he could so that the rest of us didn't have to. Uh, he also was running uh, the director camera, uh, or director buttons, this time around. And he is going to give us the last word. Trip sent us home. Yeah, thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got a lot more action to bring you next week, so see you all then. Good night, everybody.